Now we have created a combat interface and used it in our NPC class. The next step in implementing enemy attack behavior is to create a service that checks to see if the player is within combat range and an new blackboard key, a boolean that is set to true or false accordingly. Okay, now in Unreal, we need a new blackboard key. This will be a boolean. Now this will be used by the behavior tree to determine whether or not to play the anim montage. So I'm going to call this boolean key player is in melee range. However, we need some new C++. So we need a new service. Now I need to go to all classes. PT service, blackboard base. So I'm going to call this BT service is player in melee range. I'm going to say no to that. I'm going to add another class. I will write the code for the second task in the next video. I'll choose as the parent BT task blackboard base. So this will be a task to do the attack. So here is the new service and I need to create the constructor and the on become relevant function. Ah uh, yes, um, I want a private section which has a U property in it. I will now implement these. Now I need a whole heap of includes, so to save time, I will write the code first, then explain afterwards. That's wrong, isn't it? This code should be fairly obvious. We get the owner component and use that to get the controller and from that the pawn, which will be the NPC. Then we use gameplay statics to get the player character. Finally, we find the distance from the NPC to the player. And if that is less than or equal to the melee range, we write true to the blackboard key. Otherwise the key will be set to false. So that's it. In the next video, I will write the code for the melee attack task that will actually play the attack animation on the NPC if the player is in melee range, Blackpool key is true.